Terrible. This is the video commentary for Cadence Weapon, Sharks. Okay, so I guess we should introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Chris, uh, co-director from Cosmonaut. And I'm Dwayne, the other co-director from Cosmonaut. Uh, Jay Lee from 1188 Films. And Uncle Matty from 1188 Films. Uh, DOP was John Choi, who is amazing. Produced by uh, Mark Milliard and exec produced by Spy Entertainment's Richard Curtin and Stephen Riff. So this is Donkey Kong, which is a lot of live action. We thought it was a great way to introduce us into the worlds that we were going to see afterwards. Um, just wanted to get a real question in the mind the viewers and uh, be sort of what to, the hell are we watching what the hell are we watching and then uh, surprise them each, with each corner this scene was pretty cool because we had an idea for it and we boarded it and we kind of saw it but didn't really prepare you for how odd it was until you actually shot it we should talk about we came up with this idea we heard the, the sound of the song um, and uh, it sort of made us think of video games from the 80s. And the goal always is to create a video that looks like the song sounds, and this video is definitely that. Uh, this monkey suit was interesting to find, the gorilla suit. We had arguments about that. There were people that wanted it to be uh, angrier. We had some angry gorilla suits. But this one just, I don't know, it stuck with me that, that his expression just seemed uh, perfect for the song. Cadence uh, was amazing to work with. He was, he was someone who, he, because he believed in the idea, and he believed in our previous work, he just kind of went with it. And anything we asked him to do, he would do. Like, okay, you're gonna be wearing red overalls and a red hat in this scene, no problem, he did it. I'm pretty happy the progress section, because again, even though it's live footage, which we shot from Chris's window, by the way, for that angle, um, these guys were able to take the cars out and Cadence out and give everything its own life, so I think this is really this is really great. It's beyond my expectation. Cadence was also, he's also a very animated performer. Uh, so he kind of fit into the video like really well. So, Jay, was... you fought for Rampage pretty hard. Yeah, however, yeah, it seems to be the most uh, unknown one out of them all. Godzilla, I thought it was Godzilla. Yeah, it wasn't it Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> so was that... This is Rampage, it was one of my favorite games when I it was not doing homework. And, uh,. Yeah, it was, I think this was a great mix of performance and concept in a way that you don't see it coming. It's a pretty nice ride. Uh, we kind of came to this this world late. We, we knew that we wanted Cadence to be performing to something, but we didn't know what. And then we sort of came up with the idea that it would be a forest of creatures, which we sort of named after everyone that worked on it. Um, it's Double Dragon, but it's also the angle that we use for the first shot is from, from Bad Dudes. Or bad Dudes. Bad Dudes. It's almost an amalgamation of a whole bunch of uh, video games, Street Fighter and yeah. Bad Dudes. And... Yeah, actually the best part about that was when they come in and they're flashing. Yeah, that was well, that impressed me so much yeah. when I first saw that. that. That was a clincher, like, okay, yeah, we're playing uh, Double Dragon here. Finding this location, as well as our hallway, all the same place is pretty awesome, too. This background cannot be any more Double Dragon. Um, this girl was uh, hot. hot. <laughs> and she was also incredibly good. They were all pretty amazing, but by the end of the day, I think that all of their tendons had completely given up on them. Especially landing on concrete after yeah. those moves. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Also, too, because it's a bit of a, um, not of a big jump to go from the sound of the song to video games, what we wanted to do was incorporate the live world and the effects world in a way that you didn't quite guess right away. So uh, we're pretty happy with the way that turned out. This is my favorite. This was this was nothing to do with Dwayne and I. The Let's Break, yeah. completely 1188. And so, when I saw this the first time, I was like, holy fuck. Fuck, has this video been nailed now? So this this was way beyond my expectations too, because when we'd first sort of seen this, we had no idea how to make uh, Cadence and uh, DJ Weasel actually win the fight, because if you saw the footage of them punching and things, it sort of seemed like the first time maybe they'd thrown punches. <laughs> actually, Cadence was great from the beginning, because when we presented this idea, it was just really in pieces and not really a full treatment. And uh, he saw what we were doing right away and got into it, which was, if he didn't do that, then we wouldn't even be this far. Okay, so here we are, we're gonna rewind this. And we're going to talk a bit about we're going to talk a bit about the effects here. For those of you who don't know, 1188 Films did all the wonderful post effects on this video, and uh, were with us from basically day one. What did you guys do? How did you? How did you have? What was the process here? Uh, basically, it starts off. Well, we all start off with the storyboards together initially, yeah. and then uh, I mean, when it comes to the design, the backgrounds, uh, basically all the uh, like design work that you see, it's all it's all Uncle Matty. It was, it was the first time that we've actually kind of applied video game graphics to some to uh, like the video. I was having like you know cool, smooth, super effects. We had to kind of dumb ourselves down and do pixel by pixel type graphics, um, trying to keep as true to possible to the original video game designs. So we built sprites for the characters so that they'd animate um, like video games. Um, the backgrounds were um, all pixel by pixel built. So uh, 
the worlds would try basically as much as possible to be a video game. So for the Double Dragon fight scene, I mean, this was really cool to work on. Uh, what happened basically, uh, the guys, they shot um, a whole bunch of uh, 60 frame uh, per second uh, movements against green screen individually. So each character, you know, individual punches and individual kicks. Uh, special moves, getting hit and whatnot, you know, even f up to falling and falling backwards onto, uh, you know, onto a mat. And, uh, you know, we brought that in to a Final Cut and just basically had to go <clears throat> through it all frame by frame uh, and then kind of assess which frames in order would make uh, good sprites uh, and then, you know, tweak those, uh, key them out. And then uh, from that point, it was just basically taking what we had pre-planned on paper for the fight and, um, and the sprites, throwing them into the video uh, and then just getting the characters to kind of act and react with each other uh, based on what we had already, you know, planned out. There was a lot of tracking. Uh, but yeah, just getting them to kick the crap out of each other until uh, Cadence and DJ Weasel, uh, you know, beat the beat the end boss and uh, win win the whole game. Yeah, it was uh, it was really cool. It was uh, it was pretty addictive to work on, and uh, pretty challenging. So I had a lot of fun doing that shot. That means stop biting my. I didn't want people to be scared of the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going in. <laughs>